what was it like growing up playing soccer in the area now being part of the youth development program and now you're going to be part of the team once again but this time as head coach yeah it's uh so I grew up in Richmond I played soccer for the Richmond kickers the youth side uh for many years before I went and left for college um and when I graduated it was sort of for me a no-brainer to come back and coach for the kickers uh so I spent a couple years coaching for the kickers youth side um I actually coached Rob's daughter uh which is awesome and and so small world there, but spent some years with the Richmond Kickers, went to the Richmond Strikers after a few years and coached for them on the youth side, and then started with Richmond United uh, as an assistant while also being an assistant at Randolph-Macon. Um, and so from there, it was sort of uh, Richmond United kind of took off and I became a head coach for them, saw some success there. Um, and so I've been in the involved in the soccer community in Richmond since, I don't know, probably as long as I can remember since I've been playing soccer. And so to kind of see it go full circle and, and go from a player to a youth coach to now getting to coach for the W League is, is kind of uh, surreal. Tell me about what you're most excited for in terms of being the first coach of this new team and kind of seeing the hype and excitement that is surrounding it um, as, you know, we enter the inaugural season. Yeah, there's there's a ton of excitement, uh, I think, all around, but I'm especially excited, I think, to get to work with Madeline and really build this into uh, a team and a culture that we really want to, to have in Richmond um, that really kind of models what we're looking for is super exciting to me. I think the other part of it is giving, and, and because I grew up in Richmond and playing soccer here, uh, giving young girls something to strive for and kind of get to go to City Stadium and see it. I think the young, young boys get to see it. They get to go to City Stadium, watch the Kickers Pro team. And so now we're sort of doing that also on the girls' side which is something they get to aspire to be. So for me, it's just incredibly exciting to even be a part of it. Um, but really looking to hit the ground running with creating a culture, creating a team that that players want to be a part of uh, and that young young women can strive to be a part of. Yeah, um, the Combine, the Open Tryouts is coming up. So tell me about what you're looking for in terms of players, in terms of style and kind of what you're overall, what you're looking for um, in terms of, you know, these open tryouts and, and future tryouts? That's a great question. I, I think for, for us, one, the, the first combine is just that. It's the first one. And so really starting to kind of garner the interest uh, from players of, of getting them to understand, one, what what even are we doing? What is the W League? What's it going to consist of? Obviously, you're going to come, it's going to come with some challenges, it being its first year. And so there's a lot of education, I think, to to go about in the soccer community. Uh, but really from there, it's more so looking for this type of players that are going to fit within the style of soccer that that Madeline and I and the technical staff have talked through of what do we want this team? How do we want this team to play? Um, what are our goals as a team? What's our style? What are our principles? We've already started those conversations. Um, and so that's really what we're going to start looking for. But I think that the first combine is going to be just that the first one of many. And so it's mainly can we start to garner the interest uh, from the players and, and get them to know uh, a little bit more about us as well. 